Hi everybody, I hope everyone's doing well. This video I will be sharing with you guys my current skincare routine. So if you guys are interested, do stick around. So this video is something that I haven't done in quite a while and I did come across a comment or a request to actually do a video such as this and particularly as well I found it interesting to do such a video because I have been going back and forth now from a very humid tropical weather country to a very dry winter like country so I always get I frequently get asked how I change my routine or switch up my products and uh, what currently I am using for either place and a lot of my subscribers apparently find themselves in the same situation or predicament where they'll be away for six months and they'll be moving to a place or a country that is completely different in weather and climate conditions so I thought this would be a good share so I'm just going to begin by sharing with you guys what I do on a daily routine during the morning. So during the morning, my skincare routine is very, very basic. It truly is just cleansing, toning, moisturizing my skin, and putting some sun protection on my skin. Now, whether I am in colder climate or in humid weather, I don't really change much with regards to this except my toner. In humid weather, I do have to use a toner that has a more particular acid or something that has a higher alcoholic content just to keep my normal to combination skin more at bay especially in my t-zone where i can get a bit more oilier when it the weather or the climate is more humid so here are a few of the products that i usually use during the morning one that i always usually grab for is just a very basic three-in-one cleanser toner and um, makeup remover, but it's very soothing and I, I do like the scent of it. And this is the Purity by Philosophy um, Made Simple One Step Facial Cleanser. Another one that I usually grab for if I feel like I just want something to perk me up a bit more is the Clarins One Step Gentle Exfoliating Cleanser with Orange Extract. And once in a while, I also do grab, um, this is by VMV Hypoallergenics. It is available in the U.S., I believe in New York, and they do have a website. But this is a skincare brand that is based in the Philippines, but really, really good skincare line. And this is their Hydra Balance Smart Cleansing Scrub. This is for normal to combination skin. This is the one with the yellow packaging. And this one just has very fine microbeads that does mild exfoliating. So the next thing after cleansing in the morning, I usually just tone my skin. I used to nod or skip this step when I used to be back in Canada, but after moving to more humid weather, it was a step that I necessarily had to bring back to my routine just because I find that with normal to combination skin, once it's the weather is drastically more humid, my T-zone had become very oily or would oil up faster than it usually did. So I had to introduce toner in my routine. The one that I use, there are two that I use and I find that in humid weather I do have to use this particular one which I think has a higher alcoholic content and just um, performs so much better in terms of keeping my oiliness at bay. This is from VMV Hypoallergenics as well. This is their clindamycin phosphate retonic acid and this one is also has um, this is also re recommended for normal to combination skin with a yellow sign right there. And one that I currently am using because I've just discovered it and I'm actually very fond of it is by Rock or ROC. And this is their perfecting toner. This one is alcohol free. It's very soothing. It's for sensitive skin and it's also good for all skin types. So this is how it looks. Because my T-zone usually gets oily, I usually still use the VMV toner for the most part on my T-zone. And or at other times, what I would do is just use the rock 
during the night time if I do feel like I want to tone. A good thing about this as well is it's very soothing. So sometimes at night, if I just want to double check or make sure I got a lot of my makeup off or if most of my makeup off, I actually run this through my skin and I do toning before I actually moisturize and do my night treatment. And then for moisturizing during the day, particularly I'm fond of are the hyaluronic infused serums. So there are two that I have. This is what I've been using for almost a year now and this is a current discovery. I'm sorry the name had already scratched off I guess but this is the hyaluronic, super hyaluronic moist essence from Hada Labo and unfortunately this is a Japanese skincare product but if you live in Asia and you have Sasa or Manning's or Watson's and I guess some other drugstores in Singapore, Hong Kong, Malaysia, Jakarta, they do carry this. Unfortunately, in the Philippines, they do not. So I do have to grab this in other Asian countries, but definitely outside Japan, you can easily find this in Asia. The, the next one is by La Roche-Posay, and this is the Hydrophase Intense Serum. It's a concentrated rehydrating gel with hyaluronic fragments. It comes in a glass bottle. This retails for about 40 Canadian. It's quite steeper than the typical moisturizers that these brands in this price range offer, but this is absolutely amazing. It reminds me of the of the serum that I find Holy Grail from Japan, which is the Hara Labo, but just with that French touch, touch it feels more luxurious there is a slight fragrance to it which is very pleasant and last but not the least is my sun protection and i've been using the shiseido perfect uv protector spf 50 pa plus 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 and it says it's very water resistant this is how it looks this is just um you it's something that has a shaker so you do have to shake them up it's it's similar to most of the amazing shiseido sunscreen products before but I believe this is one of the latter releases now this one what I like about this is that it's it's not cream like it's not lotion like it's almost liquid in consistency and it melts very easily into the skin and almost really just melts into a powdery finish so it's very comfortable and you don't feel a film on your skin so that's currently the sunscreen that I'm using so basically that is what I do during the my morning routine morning routines are fairly very straightforward you really just have to use a cleanser just to remove any of the treatments or serums or creams that you use the night before and then just make sure that you properly tone moisturize and protect your your skin for the day and you make sure you prep it for your makeup or whether you put makeup or not